In this lesson, we'll take an introductory look at the analytical writing section of the GRE. Now this is the first section you will encounter on test day. So if you complete it well, you can build some confidence before moving on to the other sections. Now in this section, you must write two essays and you will have 30 minutes to write each one. Please note that you cannot transfer time from one essay to the other. For example, if you spend only 20 minutes on the first essay, you cannot then apply the additional 10 minutes to the second essay. Now one essay type is called Analyze an Issue. Here you are presented with an issue, and you must explain and support your position on that issue. The other essay is called Analyze an Argument. Here you are presented with an argument, and you must write an essay critiquing the argument. Now, it's important to note that these writing tasks do not test specific subject knowledge. They test only your ability to think analytically and communicate your ideas in a clear and effective manner. Also note that you need not be a superior writer to score well on this section. As long as you follow some key guidelines, you will receive a good score. Now, speaking of scoring, your final score for the analytical writing section will range from 0 to 6, and it is based on the scores you receive on your two essays. Now, each of your essays will be graded at least two times, once by a human and once by a computer program. The human marker is typically a college or university faculty member who will spend no more than two minutes reading each essay and then assign a score holistically. In other words, there are no precise scoring rules such as a one-half point deduction for a spelling error or a one-third point increase for a good idea. Instead, the reader uses a scoring guide to help rate the overall quality of ideas presented, the overall ability to organize, develop, and express those ideas, the relevant supporting reasons and examples used, and the ability to control the elements of standard written English. Now to see how this holistic scoring works, let's examine part of the GRE scoring guide for the issue essay. Here we can see that an essay worthy of a 6 is one that presents a cogent, well-articulated analysis of the issue, and an essay worthy of a 5 is one that presents a generally thoughtful, well-developed analysis of the issue. So as you can see, the reader develops an overall impression of the quality of each essay and then assigns a score. Okay, so that's the human side of your essay scores. The computer program that also scores your essays is called the E-Rater. This program evaluates each essay, and if its score agrees with the human score, then the human score is used for that essay. If the scores disagree by a certain amount, then a second human grades the essay, and the final score for that essay is the average of the two human scores. Now, once we have scores for the two essays, the final score for the analytical writing session is the average of the two essay scores rounded to the nearest half point increment. Okay, so that's a brief overview of the analytical writing section. In future lessons, we'll learn how to generate ideas for your essays and how to arrange those ideas.